Welcome to Beverly Hanks TV, where we're helping you to live the life you choose in Western North Carolina. Real estate is about so much more than just four walls and a roof. It's about all the ways a community really lives and thrives. Asheville is known as Beer City USA, but the lesser known hard cider industry is taking off. Henderson County is one of the largest apple producers in the country, making hard cider a truly local industry. Cider making brings together North Carolina's rich history of agriculture with our exciting craft beverage scene. Join us as we meet people from each step of the hard cider process, from the orchard to the glass. We grow over 85% of the apples grown in North Carolina. We've got, on average, somewhere between 24 and $30 million industry, just in apples alone. So it's a big part of this county. There's been a lot of interest in hard cider. It's, it's really taken off. And a lot of folks like it because they, they really don't like a wine or a beer, so this is kind of in between. We really started a cidery because of the absence of any cider in this area. We were the first cidery to start in this area, and it's a huge apple growing region. Uh, this area has really taken off for beer, and uh, we're all cider drinkers, and it, we were wondering why are there no cideries in this area? Well, Noble Cider, uh, we, we had kind of a mission in the beginning that we talked about of using all local fruit and you know, stay, keeping that within the community. So we use local apples from just down the road. We press them, we turn them into hard cider, and we send them out the door. So we're really in control of the process from fruit to glass. And uh, it's, it's great to see, be able to see an apple turn into your final product. Um, and that's, that's kind of been our mission from the beginning. Unlike beer, we actually have the raw ingredients here. Asheville is just such a cool place and it has great water, which I think has attracted all the breweries to this area, but we don't really grow any grains. So all of that is brought in from elsewhere. However, we do have all the apples here uh, in Western North Carolina. Much like beer or wine, there's a lot of different types of cider. To get all the qualities that we want from a cider, we have to blend multiple apples to get that. So we're going for certain, certain acid levels, certain sugar levels, certain tannin levels. The, the tannins that come from these more tart apples, um, it, you just, it tastes like an apple is supposed to taste. A lot of ciders are, are very sweet. Uh, we wanted to go for a cider that was much closer to uh, a wine. I often describe it as being a bit like a, like a dry champagne. Cider is, is excellent for pairing with food. It, it essentially, as I said, is, is like a wine. Um, so in a lot of ways it pairs with food better than beer. We, we find a lot of chefs actually cook with it. There's a lot of restaurants in town using our cider in, in various dishes. There is a bunch of restaurants pushing local ingredients. It helps the entire town survive as well as uh, puts a fresh product on our plate. Um, we like to support as many of them as we can. We chose Noble Hard Cider because there's such a huge calling for hard cider. It's a gluten-free item that people have been asking for. I feel the Noble Cider is fine enough. We actually serve it in a wine glass right out of the tap. And it pairs well with what we serve it with. Noble Cider is a great pairing with fish, and it also pairs up with our 10-ounce grilled bone-in pork chop, served with a vanilla maple bacon butter and sweet potato hash, and it has some nice acidities that go well with the richness of the pork. And we did a deconstructed apple pie, and we used the reduction of the Noble Cider. We've had a lot of support from the local uh, apple growers. The Apple Growing Association has been great. There's also a uh, research orchard in this area that we've been heavily involved with. We have quite a few apples that are grown commercially that have worked out well for hard ciders, but we also have some of the older antique varieties, and we have planted those this past year in this variety block. Most of them are very bitter, 
we even have some of the crab apples that, uh, that are used. So we're, we're real excited about these new old varieties. The first year we juiced all of our cider by hand. Um, last year we juiced some of it by hand. Most of it uh, we had juiced by a local apple processing company called Apple Wedge. They use a large belt press system and produce great juice. Our very first year we pressed 2,000 gallons, which we pressed by hand and we fermented in totes. Last year we pressed 14,000 gallons using the metal tanks that we have now. This season we're hoping to press 30 to 40,000 gallons and we will do most of it here. We will at some point be moving to a much larger space which will allow us to increase production even more. Moving forward uh, with the huge demand of cider we continue to carry it and offer several different kinds. I like it and our guests like it. It's doing very well here. People really like cider. There's a whole sort of cider movement going on right now. I think this is going to become another area where people come and see cider. Um, it's, going to, it's going to be a draw, much like there's many different types of beers. There's many different types of ciders um, from, from all different regions to kind of explore. To learn more about Hendersonville and all the great communities our area has to offer, Contact your Beverly Hanks associate or use the community search function at beverlyhanks.com. And until next time, no matter where you live, don't forget to live the life you choose.